the earliest civilization, man has studied the past. Iraq has moved into Kuwait with more than 100,000 troops. Make arrests, serve subpoenas, federal search warrants, uh, the whole nine yards. Our solar system is a really fantastic place. You know, we've now found other planetary systems, and we've not yet found anything quite like our solar system. Welcome to Good Docs. This is your host, X. And if you don't know, this is where I do short little infomercials on docs that I really love and ones that I think others should check out. And today we have a harsh one. It's called The Ganja Queen. It's about a young Australian woman, Chappelle Corby, who was arrested at the Indonesian International Airport with several pounds of marijuana. And Indonesia is not known for its leniency on drug dealers or drug traffickers. Life sentences and death penalties are often handed out for small amounts of drugs. Although the doc was filmed around the trial in 2005, it didn't air on Australian TV until 2008 under the name Chappelle Corby, The Hidden Truth. It was later picked up by HBO and renamed The Ganja Queen for American audiences. It was produced and directed by Janie and Steve Hosking and is mostly footage of the trial, as well as interviews with Chappelle's family and her supporters. One of the bright spots is that Chappelle's family is extremely supportive of her. Here's her brother. Oh, I wouldn't care because I don't smoke it. And she doesn't smoke it. Mercedes doesn't smoke it. No one smokes it. And he didn't her mother. Ask, do you need a lawyer to represent you here in Australia. He, he just, just did got it. No asking, because we we can't make those decisions. You know, it's just if you ask or whatever, that means more money. We have no money. Even though I knew Her she sister Mercedes, who actually stuff, lived in Indonesia at the time, a bit in her bag, or someone had a little smoke and put it. I don't know what I was thinking, and I. Her I father. Search me. And her half brother, who was actually traveling with uh, Chappelle when she got arrested. Did it get in there because someone in our group put it in? Oh, I'll be. Because I'm. Um, I used to like, wouldn't do some. Like, she's not a like, weird person in that. And I just go. Like, I. <laughs> so I go, like, even now, I go, that's not ours, is it? Like, I. Um, she goes, I've never seen, like, what is that? Oddly, they even let the mother clean up the holding cell, which is a little weird. But the strangest supporter is this guy, Ron Bacure, an entrepreneur and electronics store owner from Australia. Connect now, Mad Rod, and I'm going to give you $200 to spend a SEPS retribution. You want an MP3 player? You've got it. You want a PS2? You've got it. You want a Who, for reasons not discussed in this documentary, put up the funds for Chappelle's Indonesian legal representation, as well as a lawyer from Australia. Vian is involved in drugs. He's a trafficker. He's a dealer. Uh, so many people told us. I mean, it, the gossip comes out all the time. And they said, oh, he's a, he has a surf shop, they sell there, they distribute there. So many things come out. But we can't jump into accepting all the uh, gossips. They can do whatever they want. They run check, they, they have a security card, they just swipe, they come in, they go out, their bags aren't checked, they can bring drugs in, they can walk out with drugs, no one cares. No, one, no, one's, no one's looking at the baggage handlers. And these guys are, have access to all the security areas at the airport. They can do whatever they want. Now, coming to the trial, the defense seems to have an ironclad case, starting with the for mishandling of the forensics of the bag. They have testimony from an Australian prisoner who overheard drug smugglers. Ford will give evidence tomorrow that he overheard two prisoners in jail claim the marijuana in Corby's bag was put there by mistake, part of a domestic drug smuggling racket. 
His motivation for wanting to speak out is still a mystery. And finally, the Prime Minister of Australia sends a letter to the Indonesian government outlining that there is an ongoing investigation into the Sydney baggage handlers. The Prime Minister has always maintained to stay at an arm's length from the case, but in an extraordinary move has confirmed the government has written a letter to the Bali court outlining allegations about some Sydney baggage handlers using passengers' luggage to traffic drugs. What evidence does the prosecution have? A lone customs officer. Although there are four present, he is the only one that testifies. Saya minta kepada Jim untuk at that time they were together, the boogie board bag was brought by James and Corby had a luggage. When I asked James to check the bag, Corby immediately said that, oh, that's mine. Corby took it from James and put it on the counter and then he asked whether that's hers and she said it's mine. But one of the most damning bits for Chappelle is when Ron here accuses the prosecution of seeking a bribe which they immediately deny. I wanted to hit him. He's half my age, he's like my son. I want to just slap him. That's what I want to do. People will focus on the bribery, not focus on the case itself, which is, it is not good. Although the case is over 13 years old now, the documentary is still worth a watch and it's still pretty thrilling. Check it out, The Ganja Queen. See what else we have here at the Archive.